Welcome back everybody. Today's tutorial we are going to be exploring three different ways to modify your text within After Effects. We will be converting our text into shape layers and then modifying those shape layers by setting keyframes and also by utilizing the mesh warp effect. Before we get started, I'm gonna ask you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Just a simple click that probably takes less time than it did for me to explain it. Let's get started. I'm gonna select my text tool in the toolbar and I am gonna type out thick. I'm gonna double click on that. I'm just gonna bring this down. Now with my text selected, I'm gonna go to the align panel and I'm just gonna align it in the center. I'm gonna select that layer, copy and paste. In this new layer, I'm gonna change the weight of it to extra light. We have thick and thick. I'm gonna select the first layer, right click on it and go down to create shapes from text. And then I'm gonna select my second layer. I'm gonna go down to create shapes from text. I can go ahead and get rid of those two text layers now. I'm gonna select my first layer, toggle down the layer components. And then under contents, I'm actually gonna search within this layer for path. And then I'm gonna set a keyframe on the first frame for the T, H, I, C, and K. And then I'm gonna select the thick outlines, my second layer, and I'm gonna search for path again. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna set a path or a keyframe for T, H, I, C, and K. My second layer here, I'm gonna select all those keyframes, copy them, go up to my first keyframe, select the keyframes that are already there, advance my playhead over to two seconds, and then I'm gonna paste those keyframes. And then I'm gonna hide my second layer. Now when you paste this, the second set of keyframes and then you go back to play it and you see something funky going on like this, not to worry. All this means is that this first vertex is set down here instead of where it should be set. So let's go back to the first frame and let's zoom in here. So you see all these vertices, how they're all blue, but one of them has a square around it. That is the first vertex. I want to jump to my second set of keyframes and see where that vertex is down here now. So I want to select this vertex, right click on it, go to mass shape path, and then set the first vertex. So now it should be aligned and it should be doing everything you need to. So with that second set of keyframes, I'm gonna hit F9 for easy ease. I'm gonna go into my graph editor and I'm just gonna bump that over. So that way it's nice and slow into that movement. And then I'm gonna go copy the first set of keyframes and then I'm gonna paste that onto, let's say four seconds here. And then I'm gonna go back into my graph editor and I'm gonna make that nice and smooth all the way out. So that way it's gonna animate fast, slow down and then revert. Let's go back to our regular timeline. This layer we don't need anymore. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new composition. We'll set this 1920 by 1080. This is the second way to modify your text with an After Effects. With our text tool selected, let's go ahead and click in here and type in our word. I'm gonna change our font here to, I, I never know how to say that, but I wanna say Beavis or Beavis. <laughs> uh, if you grew up or know anything about the 90s, Beavis and Butthead. Okay, Beavis, type light and then for this one we're gonna do the same whoa boy all right let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and then let's put that let's go ahead and center this to our composition go ahead and do the first step just like we did in the last one we're going to go down to create and create shapes from text now we can go ahead and get rid of this and then under the contents we want to go ahead and toggle all these down and um, same thing i'm just going to search for path and then i'm going to hit a keyframe for the l i g h t i'm going to go over to two seconds and then i'm going to hit command r to bring up my rulers and i'm just going to set a guide here so that way all my all my movements end up in the same plane but i'm going to select these vertices and all i'm doing is holding down shift key and then i'm going to move them down and then if i hold shift again this will keep it going straight down and then i also want to select these and then i'm going to move those down to here okay and then i'm going to copy this first set of keyframes go over to about four seconds and then i'm going to paste those in and then i'm going to select the middle keyframes hit f9 for easy ease, I'm gonna go into my graph editor and then I'm gonna drag out these handles so it'll make a nice smooth stop there and then back. Okay, so there is a second method to modify your text. So let's go ahead and go to our third method. Click on the new composition icon and then I'm gonna hit Command T or I can select my text tool in the toolbar and then I'm gonna type in grow, sure. Let's go ahead and do grow. 
and this one I'm going to select. I'm going to make quite a bit big. I'm going to make it fill as much of the artboard as I can. And then I'm going to center that in the composition. Under the effects, I'm going to look for the mesh warp. And then I'm going to throw that on. And I'm going to take this down to two rows and three columns. And then I'm under the distortion mesh. I want to go ahead and activate that keyframe. So I'm going to activate it at one second. I'm going to go to two seconds. And with your selection tool, if you don't have that selected, it's V on your keyboard. I'm going to select this intersection and I'm going to make this quite a bit smaller. I don't know what, sorry guys, I don't know why I did that. I'm going to select this intersection and then I'm going to go this way with it. And then I'm going to select this intersection and I'm going to go this way with it. I'm going to select that keyframe and hit U and this will display my distortion mesh keyframes. I'm going to select my first keyframe, copy that and then paste it at four seconds. I'm gonna select my middle keyframe, hit F9 for easy ease, go into my graph editor, and then I'm gonna pull out these handles just like I did in the other ones. You can see what this effect looks like. I'm gonna go back into my main timeline. I'm gonna deselect, and then I'm gonna play this so you guys can see what's going on here. And I'm gonna to go to about five seconds, hit N on my keyboard, so that way it only displays the five seconds. Okay, so that is the third way to modify your text. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition. And again, I'm gonna select my text tool. I'm just gonna do thin, because I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna choose a font that has a lot of weights to it. I'm gonna choose Montserrat, then extra light. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna select that, go to my align panel, and then I'm just gonna align it to the middle of the composition. And then I'm gonna copy and paste and then under a thin two i'm just going to make that extra bold or black right click on that bottom layer go to create shapes from text just right click on the top layer and then create shapes from text get rid of those two text layers i'm going to select my top layer and then i'm going to search for path set a keyframe at the very first frame for each one of those and then i'm going to select my second layer search for path again scroll down and then i'm going to set a keyframe for all of those i'm going to go ahead and select those keyframes go up to my number two select those keyframes and then paste i'm going to get rid of that second layer so i'm only dealing with this first one i still have my rulers up so i'm going to go ahead and bring my guide down something like that with one of the keyframes selected i'm going to hit v for my selection tool go ahead and start selecting i wonder if i could just select Ooh, i can okay i'm going to go ahead and draw a box around those top vertices and i'm going to go ahead and bring those all the way up and then I'm going to select my bottom vertices and then I'm going to bring those down. You know what? That H looks funky. So I'm going to bring that up a little bit and I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So there we go. And then I'm going to copy and paste those the four seconds. So now we got to go into our effects and search for the warp mesh warp tool. Go ahead and drag that in. I'm going to go back to the first keyframe. I'm going to set the rows to two and the columns to three. I'm going to activate the keyframe by hitting the stopwatch. And then I'm going to go over to two seconds. I'm going to select this row of verti ver ver vertices, vertices. And then I'm going to move that up to there. Okay, now I'm going to go to four seconds. I'm going to copy this first keyframe. And then I'm going to paste it there. And then I'm going to deselect this so you can see everything that's going on. I'm going to get rid of these guides. I'm going to select all the key... Whoa. I'm going to select all the keyframes in the middle, hit F9 for easy ease. I'm going to go into my graph editor, pull out these handles so that way it's a nice soft landing before it goes back to its first state. And there you go, you guys. That is three easy ways to modify your text within After Effects. If you like what you saw today, make sure you like the video. If you want to come back and see more, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see something different, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know. That does it for today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this short tutorial i'm julio your motion sidekick here to help you out on your motion side quest and until next time i love you guys peace out